you know, black folks. Now, I'm not taking the possibility out that they might be blocking something here of us being able to see, but more than likely, as you can see, the sun is right here, hitting it, and this should more than likely be the solar panel or a way to block it, but they still think that there's, they're blocking something here, but I'm not positive. Uh, I'm not sure if I put it in a video before, and basically this is Stereo Head H12. Now, we'll take you down. You can read uh, the size and so forth. I think I'll have another page that I'll show you. But what we're looking at directly in line, forget about, uh, you're not seeing Venus, you're seeing Mercury. Okay, You can't see Venus. Venus would be very large because it's so close to Stereo A, and that's at an angle over here. So basically what it is, is A is shooting out and it's looking at the sun. Okay. And it's getting the field of view over this way, but the only thing it gets in this field of view is it comes out like a cone. I can kind of draw it. You know what a cone looks like, right? So it's getting this side of the sun, and it's getting this side of the sun, and it's just getting this of Mercury here. And I'll take you to a, another shot. And basically it's going to be the same view. But we're going to look in real fast at this while we're looking at this. And as you can see, you're going like, hey, that looks like planets there. It is. All this stuff here is planets basically objects okay a planet is basically something that has uh, a luminosity that means it has an atmosphere okay now you will get an atmosphere off of lots of things way this is millions of miles that you can see billions of miles even deep in here that there's objects way and there's so there's huge distances between here and here but you can see all these objects here and I'll take the magnifying glass out and we'll basically just pop up and we'll scroll over and you'll get an idea of what's out there. Now as you can see between where you can see Earth when we go down on the map this stuff, these objects are here. No matter what this object is the closest object that's to Mercury. Now remember Mercury's just a flipping moon, okay? But as you can see there is a dark object between Mercury in the camera shot. So there's a dark object that's in orbit in front of Mercury. Either that or it's an object that will end up hitting Mercury. And if you you've, if you look at, you can go and check it. All the NASA, anything historical thing you want to see of shots of Mercury, there's been tons of stuff hit Mercury. Okay? So either that's something that's either out in front of Mercury, and these objects are also behind Mercury, right here. These objects are out there in space not that far away okay from mercury okay now let me i'm just getting the magnifier down and that's your shot that you're looking at on uh Sechi, and there's your map on it okay so you don't see venus and let me give you another shot real fast here i can go up and let me save some recording time now remember these are both ahead shots okay so basically the other one's a compressed version if you go back and read the writing underneath it that i slowed down enough you should be able to read it okay and here is your map again. Same map. Okay. So basically, the Earth is not in the shot. And if you even accidentally could find Earth in this shot, it would be maybe like this or anything along this border line here. Okay. But, and actually, I think I just screwed up on thinking that because basically, you know, it's right. It'd be to the left of Mercury, as you can see there. Okay. And you don't see Venus because the idea of Venus would be very large, as you know, when the stuff is closer to the camera. Now, what I need to do is hurry up and put in here. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to come back to finish this recording off. But as you can see there, there you have Mercury. Okay. And there's the sun. And more than likely, this is not what they're blocking out, which is the sun, okay? So there is something here, and basically we're gonna look real fast, and it's not this down here, but you're gonna be able to see this stuff down here. We'll take a look at this stuff down here, and I'm wondering what they're layering out, uh, and it possibly could be this object right here. Now, I'll take the magnifier, and we'll pump up to 200, and actually we'll just go one more, because I think we can navigate around pretty good, okay? So, as long as we can keep the magnifier, yeah, the magnifier should be able to stay out of the way. Okay, now as we go over, as you know, we're still in the same shot. We have this stuff down below Mercury. Okay, it's very interesting. As you can see, there's dark planets, block, dark objects in space. Okay, very easy to see. 
as you can see there's some dying or small stars or it's so far away but you can see it in the shot it is right now currently down with the orbit of Mercury down low now does this stuff stay in orbit below Mercury is what's interesting okay because anyway it's somewhere in the neighborhood and then you can see this closer stuff that's right below Mercury okay and it's just uh, the, it's dark matter and basically dark matter is dark planets that are out and there's plenty of stuff between us and the Sun so and so something over here they're not wanting you to see because something's getting blocked out because if you go back and we'll look at the shot when it gets compressed there's something in this area that they can do coloring and make it not look like that it's here but there's something that's here in this shot it could be this stuff it could be this it could be that but it's there, there's something that they're compressing because if you look at the of this of where they put the blocker it's not directly you see how it's supposed to be directly so because basically the cameras are on the same satellite okay and then basically also you've got this star down here getting lit up by the magnetical of mercury that's no big deal but all this stuff could be any any distance now there's that's why I was trying to tell people that the idea that what what someone and I there's a guy that's got a nickname and is he's got a DR on it. I don't know if he's a retired doctor but he's a retired retired something uh, scientist or engineer or something like that so anyway he's wrong on the object that he says what something else is and let me hurry up and go to that and quickly today basically I've got this shot here and also I've got uh, we have also got this shot here that I was able to get and you can watch the videos and you can end up getting the timing on these and uh, this thing is massive uh, this is the same object you're looking at here as you're looking at here and this is where Dirk Strong is wrong because the idea that this is what they give you when you're watching Soho this is for the sheep for the ants okay as you notice this has been up down, upside down for quite a while okay so basically this is a head you have to remember that now that's a stereo head shot okay so basically and I'll show you the actual Navy shot and this here object right here that everybody's because basically it's not supposed to be in view and Dirk Strong is correct about that okay it's not supposed to, nothing is supposed to be in the view right now uh, because you know that that's not uh, Mercury and so forth and I'll be able to show you that because I'm also going to be able to show you another one that this is the same object this here as the one that's twisted around the looks like it's twisted around the arm now if somebody can answer me because basically there is a physics it's a physics question why is it twisted when it comes by the Sun because it did twist the arm didn't do it and it's not some kind of thing about the arm on the camera making that look like a twist okay that's not a factual at all okay it's not a factual law it's not a camera glitch or anything and this is the same huge comet no matter what it's a light source it's the same damn object because this is different cameras okay now let me prove that to you and here's our huge planet okay and it's it's hella far out but it's not as hella far out as the objects that he says it is uh, now actual factual when you're looking at this this is they have this shot for you upside down because Navy looks at it correctly they look at it right side up the number one thing is look at the, your objects in the sky here and also look at your triangulation here they don't want you to see this they want you to get mixed up of where it's at and located in the sky around the Sun and everything so basically Dirk they threw you off because they they have this shot upside down okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this video real fast and then I'll show you how they have that shot upside down now the streak will come through the big streak but we're also gonna have a streak over here at about 17 seconds so I have to be able to freeze it the first one comes in at like 12 seconds or something it's gonna be about right now bam and I got some other shots I can show you on that now check this out I think I can get it frozen there it was well I had it because it's gonna take a while to free freeze that but I got pictures of that so hang on see the Navy never looks at this thing upside down they always look at it right side up they feed the mice and the ants okay now here you got that there that's a real good signature there and you can see the triangulation you have it also here you get the triangulation the triangulations here right and that's our object okay and also watch the kind of the downward curve of whatever the heck the the side magneticals I call it I call it basically like a 
the uh, equator on every planet uh, that goes out on the side like that. Now, more than likely, that's a planet, or it has a different magnetical than our objects in around the sun because our magneticals are north and south. Okay, somebody's some other planets in a different area are going to have different magneticals. Okay. So anyhow, this is the object you've been watching, and basically you have the triangulation that you see over here. And if you swap these back and forth, you so they're playing pocket billiards with you, because basically your object's up here right above the sun. So see, you're looking at the constellations from Earth, you're looking at it wrong, Dirk, okay? And, hey, everybody makes mistakes, okay? But you see, you have to know that the idea that they show you the shots, they, they're showing it to you upside down, okay? Because this is looking at the sun correctly the Navy is always going to look at it the way that they want to look at it, okay? They want to hit lose you in Soho so you don't know what objects... And here's Lasco 2. And then I'll give you an explanation. Again, I've done this in my other videos and showed what Lasco... you got to remember that Lasco C3 and C2 are two different satellites, okay? Now check this out. We're at Lasco 2, okay? And here's the explanation of... It's just so you can just freeze it and read it, okay? And there's the distances. So... I'm not arguing with Dirk on his distances, okay? But he also, if he remembers my statement and what I gave him for data, Dirk Strong, I love your channel and I go to you for information a lot of times, okay? But basically, this object is not there and you know it's not supposed to be there. It is there, okay? The object's there. But like NASA shows you, it's not supposed to be there and it is there, okay? Now, it's not even going to, I can't even remember if it shows up in this shot or not. It doesn't even matter. But this one here I'll play real fast, and this is basically gets your our huge comet that comes by. Now, I need some physicists to talk to me because basically I've figured some shit out. And if you already know it, and already we can just say Lovejoy, they all do it, okay? Remember, Lovejoy reverse polarity came around. This thing reversed polarity when it came by, okay? Now remember, it's in that other shot, okay? Because that's the same object in the close shot. That's a uh, This is an up, up close shot of it, okay? Lasco is the farther away shot, okay? So it looks thinner, but it was huge, okay? The other shot, it's zoomed in on from across the sky on the other side. Soho is very, A and B are very far apart. Check it out, I can even there you see. Now, I think we've actually got more satellites too than what Soho tells us they have, but no matter what, A is always ahead and B is always behind. So whatever number, Lasco 1, 2, or whatever, high 1, whatever, it's either ahead or behind. So it's either the camera that's over in the head position or in the behind position, okay, A or B. So there's H1, 2B, H1, 2A, okay? So you gotta remember that when you're looking at all this stuff, okay? And so basically there's Mercury again, but actual factual, Remember that they're giving you this shot upside down. This huge object is right there. Now let me see if I can get some footage in here again. And basically I'll take you back again to a recent shot and actually I'll refresh a shot from Navy, okay? Remember that object's down there. Flip it around because they got it upside down. And I here's your telltale markers right here. These terahydrant, this triangulation of these huge objects in space here. That this here travels along with these three huge objects right there. Yes, it might be her, it might be another twin her, it's related, okay? Yes, Nibiru, maybe, but it's a sister. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a huge dwarf, okay, that's out there. I'm agreeing with you on that, Dirk, but you're wrong. See, Dirk, it's up here, it's above the sun to the right. The Navy never looks at the shots upside down. It's the same shot. See the triangulation? Boom, boom, boom. And they're not wanting you to see some other stuff that's going on right now. And they'll say it's CME action that's messing this shot up. Big deal. I don't care about that. Okay? They can say whatever they want. Okay? Now let's go to another shot. I'll refresh this one. Hang on. So if anybody goes to DRK Strong, and Dirk Strong's channel is real good. Uh, he's real good. And he puts some music on there. So if I try to say all actual factual, no bling bling, actual raw data. Actual raw, factual, actual. Okay? This is, it's in the right hand. So we'll go up here, Dirk and try to figure out what the heck the object actually is. Because see, it's nothing that we know of Mercury, Venus, Mars, boom, 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 Saturn, or anything like that, okay? It's huge, and it's out there. And it is hella far out, okay? But it also follows these triangulation here that goes with it, okay? So, it's actually there. 
And that is this, they have it upside down, as you can see right there. They've got it upside down. 